Supermetrics gets you your data and can be used for many different applications. Where it really shines is in helping you automate your reporting. By setting up dynamic end dates for your queries, you can ensure that your datasets keep growing as time progresses. In this section, we'll cover automated refreshes, a functionality which enables automated reporting. Once you've set your queries in such a way that you are ready to continue with automation, you can set up a so-called trigger from the Schedule tab in the Supermetrics sidebar. Let's click Add Trigger and see what options you have available. From the Action menu, you can see two different actions available. There is Refresh and Refresh an email. There are different cadences to choose from hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. It is possible to set up multiple triggers in the same workbook and make use of different cadences. A common setup is to select Refresh Daily. This trigger will run at a scheduled time, which you can define in the next field. Note that the time zone comes from the settings in your Google Sheets and can be edited from File, Settings. In most cases, it's recommended to set a daily trigger early in the morning before working hours. This ensures that, first of all, the data source platforms have finished processing yesterday's data and have made it available to be queried. Secondly, this ensures that all your reports and users will have fresh data available as soon as they start their working day. For all trigger options, you have the ability to send email alerts if queries fail on refresh. This is a very helpful feature, which will notify people through email when one or more queries fail to refresh. The most common reason is an authentication token expiring. This means you simply need to log in to the data source again, and then Supermetrics can continue pulling data on your behalf once more. The trigger action Refresh an email will refresh all queries and also send an email containing a copy of the report as an attachment. You can define the list of recipients in the first field and separate multiple recipients with commas. You also have the option to select a specific sheet or include all sheets as the file attachment. One use case would involve using Google Sheets functions to create a high-level summary sheet based on the data pulled by Supermetrics and only sending that to your recipients. Under Type, there are various options to choose from, and some additional flexibility is offered through the checkboxes. Even more options are available when you click Advanced Settings, where you can also customize the header and body of an email, among other things. Feel free to explore the options.